Hello, my friends. It is midnight on the 10th of July, and I'm kicking off this reveal. Of course, if you've seen it in the coming soon, you know what's coming in this video, but I thought I would give you an up close and personal look at most of the new releases that have hit the shelves in the Spellbinder store. Um, I have got the Spellbinders Handmade Holidays Christmas Kit. I am not opening this just yet. I'm going to do an unboxing of this. I have not opened it myself, but I wanted to show you everything first. And I wanted to tell you about the add-ons for this. And then we will do the unboxing in a separate video. So this is the exclusive holiday kit. It actually was my largest video of last year. Believe it or not, not an unboxing, but the actual card kit video when I made my cards was the largest video I made last year. So I'm excited to get into this. I like to take a card kit and actually do something different with it usually. I don't like just to put cards together easy peasy, but um, I usually do some easy and then some stepped up. So be watching for that later in the month. Um, I have not, like I said, haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to do that with you like I always like to do. So anyways, I wanted to show you the add-ons though, but this is available now while supplies last. So I wanted to be the first thing I told you about because once it's sold out, it is sold out. So just be aware that it's in the shop today for everybody. Okay, so the add-ons for this have already been asked about. And I actually, when they asked about them in my live the other day, Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I appreciate you guys for doing that. And then I had a few other questions later about it also. I had forgotten about the add-ons. And you guys, you're the best. So anyways, this, the Winter Rose background press plate. I knew this had add-ons, but it totally dropped out of my head that this press plate was an add-on to the Handmade Holidays Christmas Kit. That only means that it's gonna kind of coordinate with what's in the box, but it is an add-on separate purchase. So if you're not interested in a holiday Christmas kit, you can buy this separately if you choose. Now, let me tell you, this is also while supplies last. And it does have a stencil. The stencil is only available in the bundle. You cannot buy it separately. So, if you're wanting to stencil the better press, make sure you buy the bundle, okay? I see so many times where people said, can I get the stencil? I didn't buy the stencil. So I'm trying to educate people and let them know this isn't available by itself. So make sure if you want the stencil, some people don't like better press and stencils because they don't like to use it on the impressed image, but other people like me, love the stencil. So I like to do it on regular paper. I like to do it on better press paper. I like it all. So, so I love me a stencil and you guys know that. So, but at least Spellbinders gives us a choice. You can buy it by itself. Or you can buy it with the, with the stencil, but you can't buy this separately. So now you know. Then you have another adorable add-on. Now I really like this one. There's some that I could take or leave, but this one is adorable. I love this little bow in gold. This is so cute, but this is the packages. It comes in the sleigh. It has a little foliage. It has a couple signs here. Excuse this. That is not supposed to be there, but here's your, your sled and the size of it. So that is also going to coordinate to this by it by itself or separate. I mean, separately or with the kit doesn't matter. But these are not in the kit. These are a la carte. So just know that as well as these little handmade sentiments. These are not my favorite. Just FYI. They're not my favorite. I, don't, I just don't care for them as much as other types of sentiments. My reasoning being the way they cut out the little, the little words. If I use these, I like to use them in foil. They look really good in foil. So if you have these types and you struggle with them, use them in foil cardstock. They're really pretty with foil. So that's my two cents on that. But those three are the add-ons for the kit. 
There are four extra items in the store that are actually in the kit. The first one are the Handmade for Holidays paper pack, which is a full array of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and foil cards. The second is a six by six, the Handmade for Holidays paper pad, which includes 40 sheets, two of each design. The third is the Handmade for Holidays floral die cuts. Then you have these beautiful Handmade for Holiday gemstones. And these are a peachy pink in color and are just beautiful to add to your Christmas cards. Now we'll jump over to the Home for Holidays collection. This is the Home for the Holidays collection. It is 15 items. Don't fall out of your seats, people. 15 items. Over half of it is better press. I'll just say for my better press fans. So I'm just going to run through them really quick so you can see them. Christmas greetings is a die set with shadow. They're small, pretty small, medium. They're about the size of your finger. So um, dies with shadows. Merry Christmas sending cheer, warm winter wishes, holiday greetings, Noel and joy. This is a background plate. It is called Star Shine Background Plate. It is very nice, A2 in size. I do like this one. It kind of looks like cross stitch almost. And hint, hint, I liked using it with Nicole's upcoming, I'll show it to you in a minute, tapestry or stitching collection. Like that. Does not have to be Christmas. This, for those five by seven lovers out there, this is Santa and Saint Nick is his name, but he fills a five by seven card. That's how big he is. So if you are a five by seven lover, this is Saint Nick and you might want to think about him. I'm liking this one. This is the emerald cut labels and tags. It, oops, sorry for my light. It has the etching in the edges of all of these. The reason I like this is because this extra die. They have this extra die here and they have it here. And the reason for that die is because it allows you to make a fluted border here if you want that to just be a border that's etched. Or you can leave this die out and get the full panel as the whole layer, this solid piece that's all this shape. So I like that. It's more bang for the buck. So rather than just having this size, this size, and this size, you can have those three sizes, but you can also add this and have this frame, this frame, and this frame, and actually frame something. So that's just something I noticed about that one. And that one, of course, all year, not just Christmas. And that's something else I look for, something that can be used more often. Candy Canes and Holly, this also is pretty large. So it has your little inset strips that go here. Christmas and Holly. This one is quite pretty. This one name is Point Set of Spray. And it is about the size of the palm of your hand. So maybe that'll give you give you a good reference. So you could probably put two of these, one coming in from this side, one coming in from this side, on either an A2 or five by seven, depending on how much of it you used. If you used all of it, it could come in pretty far. If you used just a little bit of it, it could come in and frame the corner. So that's kind of nice, the sizing of it. It's not too big, it's not too small. This here is the Argyle Plaid 3D embossing, and it does have multiple levels, which I like. So that is pretty nice. Now, changing over to Better Press, we have three registration plates. We have the Better Press 16, which is Color Mix Mary. So it does the word Mary, but you can change the colors of your pressing with the registration. So if you're not familiar with those, look up videos on my in my Better Press um, playlist 
and you can see how to do registration. This one is Christmas from all of us, or you could do Merry and Bright or Merry wishes to you and yours by just changing out those sentiments. Then this one here is Joy. May your holidays be filled with joy. Sending joy or sending joy to you and yours or joy this Christmas season. Then you have this one, which I'm thinking Santa needs to come and do a registration on my channel this year. What do you all think? Do you think Santa needs to come back and better press with us? I'm thinking he might need to see if he can do a registration plate. And I think he needs a, a, a red gem there on his nose, Mr. Rudolph. So this says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And has registration for the ornaments and for the scarf. So that one there is called Dashing Reindeer. And I think he would be good for Mr. Claus. This one here is Christmas Gospel. And I love it. Look at Luke 2, 10 and 11 for the scripture. And it has the full nativity there. I love that. We need more like that. This is a one and done press plate. One press plate, one die. They got more, need to be more of those. Happy holiday, Merry Christmas season greetings and sending joy. Then this is a two in one press plate. You get the positive and the negative. So let me show you what I mean by this. This is called Night and Day Pines. And you get two full press plates. So when you see the price is higher, this is why. This one, it's going to blacken your background. This one is going to ink up your foreground. So this one's going to press and your ink is going to ink the background. This one, the ink is going to be on the pines. So you have two looks in one. Pretty interesting. I have not inked that one up yet. Here we have sprinkled confetti, or like I think it looks like snow. But it could be birthday too, confetti. It could be pretty much any background, but it could totally be snow. So that one's called sprinkled confetti. And then lovin' mistletoe greetings. This time we have a regular banner and we have a flagged banner. And you have two plates and two dies. So you can do either plate in either die. So you've got variation there. So pretty cool on the better press. Lots of better press this month. Now this is all, like I said, part of the Home for the Holidays collection. And that's how I will link it down below if you're interested in any of these items. They're all a la carte, so you can pick and choose your favorites. And I'll just have the one link, though, that says Home for the Holidays Collection. We have the Copper Plate Collection. Now, this was really popular in the spring when we had the All Occasion one. And this one is just as similar as that. These are made to be large focals on your cards. Now this first one is an actual gift tag, which I thought was really cool. You have a gift tag die, then you have a holly, and then you have a to and from. So you can make your holiday gift cards. And remember, all of these better press are foil or press. So you can use your glimmer hot foil machine or you can use your better press. So don't get hung up on their just better press. You get both worlds with this. So you could make these shiny with your glimmer or you can press them and make them more look more classy with your better press. Add a little bit of ink in here. They just they'll be stunning. So this one here has three press plates and two cutting dies. The rest of them are all a single press plate. And the reason for that, and I spoke to Spellbinders about this, the reason for that is they are the focal on your card. The idea is you put this on your card and then you decide 
how much decoration do you want? You can add a little bit, like a flourish or a poinsettia, or you can just make it the focal by using a die cut to cut it out and popping it up in the center of maybe some um, holiday paper in the background. I mean, it you know, you can, the sky is the limit here, in other words. So we have Merry Christmas, we have Warm Wishes, we have Joy to the World, Peace on Earth, Believe, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays. Let them make the statement. Now, for my favorite collection of the month, and I'm going to have a video on Saturday. We're going to have some fun with this collection on Saturday. So stay tuned for five different cards. That being said, if you want to see some more action with this collection, the Better Press Babes are going to be live Friday night for Babes Night Out. It's a last minute thing. We decided to move our Babes Night Out up to a little earlier than normal. So it will still be the 7 p.m. Eastern time, but it's going to be earlier in the month because we just couldn't handle all these Better Press products and not playing with them even more. So I'm going to have two cards I'm making Friday night with this collection, and then we're going to make another one Saturday together in my video, and then I'll show you those three and two bonus ones, which are over the top gorgeous in my video Saturday. So you're not going to want to miss that video. So this is my favorite by far. You've got the two better press plates, elegant peacock and fabulous feathers. I sure hope they do a bundle with this one because this is, this is a got to have. So we have elegant peacock, fabulous feathers. These are the two I'm going to be using on Friday night. Then we have Peacock Motif. Look at this gorgeousness. This thing is so detailed when you work with this. You run it through. I did it just on white paper, but oh my gosh, the ideas in my mind are endless. And I'm sure you're going to see so many ideas with this one. We're going to be using this one in the video on Saturday, and we are going to be jazzing it up to the nines. So this is the Feather Flourish. Gosh, I wish I could show it to you right now. It is gorgeous, and let's just say gilded gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I had to go all peacock on this one. <laughs> so yeah, you want to be here Saturday for that whole video. Feathered Flourish. Is this 3D? Check out this elegance. Wow. Cameo frames. This is for any card. This is gorgeous. Cameo frames. Don Bibby is the designer for this collection. Don, if you're watching, way to go, girl. This is by far my favorite this month. I had to go all out. I just, I used every single piece. And I don't always get time to use every single piece of the collection when I get the full collections. But, you know, we're allowed to play with whatever we want to. And, and like, play with our heart's content on our favorites. And this is my favorite. So, <laughs> Glorious Peacock. Do I need to say more? And just wait to see what I did with it. Because this is kind of plain and boring, if you ask me. Just done in little purples. No, 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 no. Melanie does not do just plain. <laughs> not when it's this gorgeous of a die set. No, 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 no. Mine is not plain. Gorgeous peacock. And then we also have a bonus card of the peacock butterfly coming. Guys, it is bam. It is bam. Gorgeous. So do not miss that, guys. You want to be here on Saturday. So, but if you're wanting this, grab it. That is that is gotta have. Okay. okay, this is Nicole Spore's collection. And I'm having a lot of fun with this one too. I think I've made five samples with this one. So I did play with it over the weekend and really had a lot of fun. But I have been a cross-stitcher in a previous life. 
So I do love stitching. Um, so it was right up my alley. Gathering Stitches is the name of this set. And this is your main set. It's the one that has your hoop. It also has a rainbow. And it has a little floral set too, which it shows right down here. Your rainbow's here. And then it shows the way the hoop goes together in both of those. So it has 12 cutting dies. So this is your main set if you're wanting to get a hoop. The Gathering Stitches set. This shows up close. This is actually a copy of a page out of their catalog. Um, and it shows you the different seasons. It has a fall set. It has two Christmas sets, one with stockings and one with a Christmas tree. Then it has the sewing set that has the stork scissors and the actual thread bobbin that you can actually make. And then it has a needle and thread. So my packaging isn't all put together. In other words, this one has two. It has the fall and it has the stork scissors, the thread and the needle here. So my packaging is a little messed up. But this one is the tree set. This one's called Faux Embroidered Spruce. I do have a sample of that one coming. This one is the Faux Embroidered Stockings. And like it, all of them say to use with that first set. Then you have the sentiment set, Nicole's Needlework Sentiments. Let the magic of Christmas bring love and peace to you and to the world. Good tidings to you and Merry Christmas for today and all the Christmases to come. Harvest of thanks. Wishing you a little Christmas magic this year. So much to be grateful for. And this Christmas, may your heart be light and your stockings heavy. So I thought some of those sentiments were really touching. And they're not about stitching. They're about Christmas. So that was really nice. Then Spellbinders has these embroidery hoop frames that you can purchase separately. It comes with two of each size. And you'll see these also in my upcoming video. I will be using them. And in my video, we will be making some interesting ornaments. So be watching on that in the upcoming weeks. Then we have Susan Tierney Coburn's collection called the Nature's Botanical Garden. This beautiful collection includes the azalea and garden pot with ladybugs, the um, landscape rose, which is what I'll be featuring in my upcoming video, the flowering quince, the hydrangea, and I can't see the name of the other one here on my screen. It's just falling off the side of my screen. But all five of these are absolutely beautiful and will make gorgeous bouquets. There is also a gorgeous embossing folder, which will be our backdrop to the flowering bouquet I will be doing in my design, as well as a better press collection of sentiments that we will also be using in this collection. Now, this set of sentiments I love that she has mixed up the fonts and given us a variety of sentiments to use in our flower gardens of bouquets. So we will be doing a create a flower video later in the month. It'll probably be towards the end of the month. And I hope you will come and join me for that. Now we have the amazing BB Cameron's Cats and Pugs collection. Now, this collection is going to be perfect for those who love their 5x7s, but also BB has thought of the, the people that love A2s as well. She has pugs and cats in both sizes. These are the ones that cater to the 5x7s. The cats and pugs are very large and can fill a full-size card. So... Here are the die sets, and as you can see, you are getting a lot. These are going to fill my screen, screen and then some. You're getting a lot of dies in these sets, and here are the adorable things you can make with them. Two different pugs, two different shapes, faces, 
for the pugs and then your cat here as well. So you have a lot of um, size on this collection because you can go large or you can go small or a combination of both. So let me show you what I mean there. Let me put these large ones. And of course, this is called Big Cat and Big Pug are these two sets here. Then you have the big bicycle, which is right here. This big bicycle is also a five by seven, and this is a five by seven creator die like BB is known for. And it has adorable features as well. It has the bicycle with a basket, and then it has the wine glass. It has a little baby set here. Then it has a little tulips. It has a poinsettia if you want to turn it Christmas. It has a little greenery in the stems for the tulips. So you can do a lot of different scenes here, but that's not all. BB has thought of everything for the dog and the cat lovers here. She has thought of the cheerful kittens. So if you want to do small cats on either your A2 or inside your bicycle, inside the baskets, you could put your kitties here, your pugs, you can put them there. So this is the cheerful kittens and here's the party puggles. So you got your smaller size pugs here to give you an idea of size. There's the front basket. See that? So then you also can decorate your pugs. This fits the large pugs. Just so you know, these decorations decorate the large pugs. Because on this set here with the party puggles, isn't that what it's called? Party puggles, yep. Yeah. You get all these little decoration pieces to decorate them for the party. You get a party hat, you get cupcakes, you get a package with a bow, you get party hats. So you have embellishments for your smaller animals with the party puggles. But these embellishments here in this set called Cat and Pugs Accessories are for your larger ones. So she hasn't left anything out. Go large, go small, it's all here. So you've got these adorable glasses, these little neckerchiefs for both the dog and the cat. You have a bow you can put on them. Then you've got all these decorations to decorate your glasses with, as it's shown right here. And then you have a coordinating sentiment called cat and pug sentiments. So she has thought large and small, or a mixture of both, this is B.B. Cameron's Cat and Pugs, an adorable collection for all the dog and cat lovers out there. So, I have gone through everything Spellbinders except for some treasured cardstock assorted packs that has come out. I'm going to show a picture of it here on the screen. These are sorted packs of gold, silver, and rose gold papers. They have not arrived to me yet. They are supposed to be en route, but I have not received mine yet. But I will use them if I receive them. They may have ran out. I don't know. Um, but if I receive any, I will use it graciously. But it's different assorted packs, and it is beautiful. They're called Beautiful Backgrounds. And I've got three of the four here, and I'm planning on doing some sort of background techniques with these. Perfect for different techniques, but let me show you. It's kind of neat here because this one comes apart right here. So you can use it as a smaller stamp, or you can put it together and use it as a larger stamp. So I really like the idea of that. And let's see, this one is one whole piece, and I believe this is one whole piece too. Yes, this is one whole piece, but I really like that leaf one. Leafy Vines is by far my favorite. I can totally see that being used in so many ways, especially with that sympathy set that came out previously with Spice Stampendous. This would go really pretty with that. 
So I think I'm just going to play with these. You'll probably see some cards on social media from me with these. I just think they're really pretty and I don't have a whole lot of backgrounds in my stash. So I thought they would be really pretty to have on hand for background techniques. So that is it. I wanted to let you just know about the different collections that were in the store. It's a lot because Christmas in July is here. We have Christmas, we have regular releases, and it is a lot. It is. And I just wanted you to see it all up close and personal before making any kind of decisions if you're interested in anything. I will have those links down below. Using those links does support my channel and my journey in making video content that inspires and creates Crafty Mojo for you on a weekly basis. So I appreciate you stopping by today just to check it out. And I will have video content coming your way really soon. Bye-bye, so, my friends.